wish I would have done this from the very first day I started fishing on this boat. These crazy little cheap Bass Pro containers, I think I got all four of them for like $12. They just work so well in managing your plastics. So this here is my standard go-to container. You know, number one Senko worm colors. Look at that rascal. And they just fit right in there. They're very easy to get to. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that they dry out in these containers. Maybe they do a little bit, maybe they don't. I just know that with this, I can be changing worms, changing out my bait very quickly on a boat. Whereas if I'm rummaging through a bunch of bags trying to figure out which one I want, it's a lot more difficult. So this container here, which is simply labeled worms, has all of my favorite colors that I use on a regular basis. Worms. Now, these, this one here, which you call short and long worms, <laughs> which sounds sort of funny, but these are, the, these are my very long worms. These are worms that are not the standard length worms. But then I also have like some meds in here. I've got frogs, uh, I've got, oh, I've got a couple of different crayfish. And these of course go with um, some of my uh, different bait combinations I set up. So that's all right here in this container. Real simple, very easy to get to. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I don't have to scramble through. Short and long in there. Now this one here is just starting to build out. You see I only have a few things and these are random. Um, this one here I'm calling minnows, uh, which might go on some of my jigs. This one here though, swimmers, things that have tails different sizes. I got short ones in here. I have big long ones. And of course I do have some grubs. Grubs are good. And finally, I got some of these neat little ones here that, uh, that really work well in certain situations. The biggest thing about this to understand is that with these drop down into my, my uh, tackle locker, um, it is very easy to reach down and grab exactly what I want and change out a bait without having to sort through a huge bag or a box of all the different packaging that comes with. Let's talk about how I manage my basic tackle and lures. One container, and this is just what's on the boat, the main storage is in the house, but this is what I have with me. Under tackle, you're going to have my hook selections, various kinds of lead, various uh, connectors and hooks in there. This is real simple, but it's all I need for a whole day on the water. Now, I did do something I call drop shot. Some of you may be doing drop shot fishing, especially here in the winter. And of course, in this one, you'll see all kinds of fun things, all your typical sinkers and some drop shot hooks. But here's something that I'm doing that I probably should patent. Right here on the plastic card, and you might see it says D36. That means this is a drop shot, 36 inches a liter, a hook and a sinker. And it just slides right into there. And I've got different sizes set up with different weights and it's all labeled so that I can easily just reach in, grab a drop shot, pull it out, unwind it. and these. These are designed in such a way that the line doesn't get tangled up. I can pull this out, untangle it, hook it onto the line, be in the water, and if I decide that um, I need to go uh, three feet off the bottom, two feet off the bottom, 18 inches off the bottom, I have got a drop shot pre-rigged pre up for just that purpose. Soft floors, oh, we all love our soft floors. Well, I'm trying to keep the number of my, <laughs> my, my cases down, but of course in this rascal here, you're going to find everything. Um, these are remarkably good. These little teeny blue gills, man, these things get all kinds of crazy hits off fish. Uh, minnows, traditionally some kind of a minnow has, is very, very, very successful. I've got them in all colors and I have them in three sizes. I have short minnows, 
I have longer minnows, and then I've got some flat out fish sized minnows that'll help me uh, hit the pit, or get a hit depending on what's out there. Of course, I love frogs. So you see I have a whole file here, just a whole category of just different size and color frogs. I got full size frogs. I've got some of these little frogs with propellers on them. These are fun to use. Um, I have some very small frogs which are good for winter uh, fishing. And then of course I have my segmented baits. These I love. These are so realistic moving through the water. You have a huge selection, you know, of fish, of, of minnows you can draw from. They're not cheap, but again, when I'm out fishing, one container, I pop it out, I'm instantly changing out what kind of lures I have on the end of my line. What's this? Typically soft lures. Now, of course, we got crankbaits. And you know what, like most guys, I've got a little bit of everything. Um, I got some Whopper Ploppers in the 90 gram size, all the way up to the big 120s. Uh, I've got some top waters. Uh, I've got some divers. Even got, you know, these things here are supposed to work real good. So inside my, my uh, top water or my crankbait, I have a variety of different lures ready to go. And then the final category, of course, are the jigs. And I'm set up with a number of different jigs. Um, uh, this one here, of course, has a grub on it. You know, uh, I got chatterbait in here. Uh, all of these are different, divided up by colors. And you know, what I have found and what I've been told is you don't need 75 different colors. Traditionally, three or four colors is all you need. And you'll notice I have those combinations right here. So, what do you see? Between this and this, my little tackle locker is loaded up and ready to go.